Hey guys, Jim Bobbin here, and today I'm back with some more Plunder Pirates gameplay. Uh, today what I have for you guys is pretty much all the stuff uh, in Pirate Hall. Pretty much three, what I'll be doing is building all that stuff. Also guys, I have a few things to talk to you guys about. Uh, but before we pretty much go into the pirate thing, I want to talk to you guys about s some stuff. As you guys can see, my pretty much pirate hall is now level 3, which is really cool. And I pretty much made this base design right over here for pirate hall level 2. And if you guys do have a pirate hall level 2, and you pretty much need a really good base design because you're design is failing make sure to click the link in the description to pretty much w watch my video where I showed you guys the pirate hall level 2 like base design um and yeah definitely it's really good it wins against a lot of raids which is really good just because of the structures but I talked about this base design and showed you guys how to build build it uh, so make sure to click the link in the description like I said before also guys I just pretty much um, Got into this program with this pretty much this company called Cash for Apps, which what they do is they're like pretty much like you could say like a a company that what they do is you pretty much download the app and everything like that. And then when you download their app, what the app has is pretty much where you download apps, other apps off their pretty much their app or whatever. And then once you download apps that they have like featured, you get points. And then with those points, what you do is you pretty much can get like gift cards. Um, and also like iTunes gift cards, which is really cool. And then you can use it to buy like gems and Clash of Clans or gems and Plunger Pirates. Uh, so make sure to click my referral link in the description. And it actually gives you some like bonus, uh, pretty much like points and stuff like that. And it also can help me got help me out a lot, guys, and get me more gems and Clash of the Clans, get me more diamonds and Boom Beach, and get me a lot of cool stuff in uh, Plunger Pirates. So yeah, make sure to click the link uh, link in the description to um, pretty much uh, sign up and everything like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pretty much build the cool stuff. So let's see what we have. Oh, we have a motor. That is awesome. Okay. So I'll go ahead and build that. We'll build that right over here for now, guys, because it takes about three hours. Um, and it's 78 gems, and I don't have that. So leave that there then we'll go back to defenses we got another mine which is really cool so now that we have two mines guys uh i think what i want to do with two mines guys is pretty much put two of them like right on the side over here so that we have like mines over there so now it's it's protected which is really good also guys uh what do we have also so we have some walls which is really good probably won't uh build those today just don't really need them what do we have in resources? Oh, we got another grog storage. Awesome. And also another uh, gold storage. That is really awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and build those really quickly. Um, so let's just put them right over here. Put them in those two spots. Uh, no builders three. Oh, yeah, we're building that. Almost forgot. Um, so we cannot build anything else, unfortunately. So let's just go ahead and speed that really quickly so that we can pretty much build the gold storage right over here. So... Build this gold storage right over here, guys. Accept that. Pay four gems. Uh, and now let's go to resources, guys. We can go ahead and get a grog distillery, which is really awesome. So that's only going to take three seconds, which is really nice. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and build a gold mine right over here. Uh, where is it? It is right over here. So we'll go ahead and move that right over here. Place that there. Awesome. Uh, and now let's see what we also have. So we have some new jack decorations, which is pretty cool. Are these free? Are these free? What what do these things do? Awesome! They're actually free. That is awesome. Now we get like some free stuff. Um, so that can definitely like occupy more land. I guess. Really don't know. Uh, can we get rid of this? I really don't know if you can get rid of it. Unfortunately. So um, I don't know if it's gonna be bad later. So we'll probably just. Oh, we can get prisoner cages. Uh, plant pots and all that stuff, so probably just for now we'll get the hammock. Maybe in a few episodes, guys, we'll do some pretty much work on decoration. Uh, so let's just go ahead and what do we have next? We've got some buildings. Awesome. So we got a lighthouse, outhouse, blacksmith. Okay, that is pretty cool. So we got some really cool things that I'm definitely look, looking forward to pretty much building all that cool stuff. Um, that is really good. So I have no clue what a lighthouse does. Um... What's this do? I don't really know what it does. Maybe it does something. Uh, hopefully it does something really cool. I think it helps my ship. It just said over there. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I cannot build anything else, guys. But let's go ahead and pretty much explore the seas. And we'll also do some raiding because I just pretty much trained up some troops. 
Um, so, awesome. So let's just go ahead and collect this. We did a few victories. We did lose a few troops, but we did win this. What do we get? Do we win against the shark? Yeah, we did. Awesome. Um, ooh, we got some grug. That is awesome, too. So let's go ahead and collect our gold really quickly, guys, from these islands. Um, we also unlocked some areas, which is really cool. Got a few quests completed, which is awesome. Uh, so let's go out of there. And what we'll do is, I believe we earned some gems, which is really cool. Uh, so we got a new thing over there. Let's go ahead and collect that. Uh, nothing else in here. Do we have any to complete? We got this, which is really good. And doesn't look like anything else. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and click that. So we'll get some gold over there. I want to collect too much. And now let's go ahead and do some fighting. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm looking for a good base, guys. That probably is like relatively easy. Whoa, that is a big base to destroy. Um, should we just do it for the loot? I, I don't think that would be smart, though. Um,. It's not the smartest idea just to do it for the loot. Wow, that is an awesome ship right over there. That's a really big ship, guys. Whoa, it's pretty good. I can't wait till I get that ship over there. Um, so that's really easy. Um, hmm. Yeah, this looks like a really nice base to raid, guys. It's not like that powerful, which is really good. So let's go ahead and fight this base, guys. We should be able to do it. So we'll send in this troop right over here. Send the these guys behind them. We also have a really cool new troop guys that I actually haven't raided before. Um, there's these guys which actually target defenses, which is really cool. And they deal a ton of damage, which I really like. Um, so let's send this troop in, guys. Uh, and then can we send this troop in? Oh wait, we already used all that troop. So we're out of those troops, but it's all right, guys. Uh, so we'll look at these guys just fighting right over here. They're just ripping down the defenses, which is really awesome. And what I really like about these guys. Pretty much those big troops right there is they have a ton of defense points, which is really good, so they can stay alive for pretty much ever. Um, and that's really nice, and they also do a lot of damage, which is really awesome. Come on, get rid of that motor right over there. You need to get rid of that motor. Okay, they're attacking. Oh, they're really, really low. So get rid of that so it doesn't target my troops over here. Okay, it's not targeting them. Okay, so we have one cannon left, and then we have that uh, pretty much thing to deal with. Oh, we have another cannon over here. That is not good. Um, so we have... That troop died, unfortunately. Uh, oh, we, we're losing them. No, that's not good. Uh, so we're getting a few that are coming into here, which is good. Hopefully, no, that troop died. That is not good. Oh, now we're getting attacked from that. Okay, we're doing not that bad, I guess. Uh, we got a few guys that are going this way, which is really good. Um, oh, we're losing them. That's not good. That ain't good. Okay, so they're going in, which is pretty good. You guys are attacking that. Hopefully... Yes, one at least went that way, which is really good. Oh, nothing's targeting this. Awesome. So now it's just, it's just going down, I think. No, the cannon's now targeting. No, did it reload or something like that? Oh, we lost that. Okay. Um, I don't even think we can, unfortunately, do much anymore. Thought we could have got that base, guys, but right now, how much percent are we at? I think we're at, yeah, we're at 29%, so... Oh, that really sucks. I, I should have sent them more kind of on this angle or whatever to get rid of that cannon really easily over there and then i should have got that. i could have been able to get all this loot and stuff like that but we'll go ahead and surrender really quickly guys oh that wasn't a good raid uh did a bad did a bad play there but let's go ahead and train up some more troops really quickly guys um i'm thinking this time we'll go one of these guys we'll go how we go one of these guys i'm thinking and then the rest will go this guy and this guy because they're going to be taking down the resources over there. Um, let's just go back to our um, tavern and speed up this process really quickly, guys. There we go. Got our troops. And let's go ahead and find another base that we can fight and definitely destroy. So next. That looks too easy. I'm trying to find a base, guys, that pretty much gives enough loot. But it's relatively easy to take down because that that's like the best base to possibly get down. Everybody wants a base that you can take down relatively easy. Um, so this is not a bad base, guys. I don't really know exactly what all these structures do, unfortunately. But it does look like we can get a lot of loot off this base and maybe even a 50%. So I'm going to actually just do this base right over here, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this base. Uh, we should be able to do it, I think. Why is that thing targeting that? That is not good. It should be targeting that defense right over there. Yes, there we go. 
Okay, now it's going in on that defense, which is good. Uh, I just needed to destroy that one defense right there, and then we should be perfect. Um, because after that, it's destroyed. So we're getting a lot of loot, which is really good, guys. Don't want to lose those guys in the back. They look like they're going to be destroyed. Okay, destroy that defense building right over there. Awesome, okay. They're now moving on this side, which is really good. Now they're only getting affected by the cannons. Okay, that's good. Now they're going this way, which is awesome. Lost those two. Still good, guys. Getting a lot of loot from that. Um, We are losing our rank, unfortunately, guys, doing these raids. But it's really annoying when you see people that have, like, really good bases in these really low divisions, unfortunately. It's just really annoying so not that it really do much but we are going to get a lot of loot which is really good for some upgrades which we're going to be doing in a sec so uh i don't really know what we can do much but we're going to wait for this building to be destroyed because there should be some grug in there to make our grug bar full and that that could help us a lot uh but it's just really difficult to do this base unfortunately guys really hardcore base got some really good walls and everything like that but um so the can is not targeting this storage, which is really good, but I'll probably just end it in one second. What does that do? What? You can make these guys more overpowered? What? I have no clue what that does. Wait, you can make them more overpowered? That is really cool. I never knew that. Okay, so, yeah, lost our troops, got a defeat. Uh, but we did get some good loot. Oh, my God. Can't even do any good raids, guys. Um, so let's trade one of those, some of those for later, guys. Um, so we'll train those, uh, and then we'll just cluck from these things, so, before I end the video, guys, let's go ahead and do a few upgrades on some stuff, um, I'm thinking we'll go ahead and do this upgrade over here, and then we'll go ahead and do the grog storage update, upgrade, I mean, uh, actually, we can't, we can only do one of them, but that is still alright, guys, um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys, hope you guys enjoyed if you did, a like would really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to the Jim Bob and Craft Network for a 70% revenue share, guys. And make sure to click the link in the description for Cash for Apps, which is pretty much a program where you pretty much get apps. And what you do with those apps, guys, is once you pretty much download them, you get points. You trade them in for awesome gift cards, which you can pretty much buy uh, gems and Plunger Pirates and Gems and like Boom Beach and any other game that you want, guys. So make sure to click the link in the description. But that is it, guys. This has been Jim11, and I'll see you guys later.